Season's greetings, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite cartoon character. There will be a light up NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and it's PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snag on some pockies, sip on some peppermint tea, and enjoy this ASMR. Oh, it looks like we're almost there. Mm-hmm. Like an easy show. But well, an early show. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Why don't you go get some popcorn with it, too? Get with some butter. Hmm. What kind of drinks do you want from there? Alright. I'll, I'll pay for the snacks. Um, Anything else? Some sweets? <laughs> this might be the first time we're watching a horror movie together in the drive-in. Might sound pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, here we are. It looks like they didn't play the trailers yet, so we're just in time, love. Uh, yes, um, two tickets for, um, The Exorcist. Thank you. Oh, uh, darling, can you hand me my wallet? Thank you. Here you are. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I think he said, um, in the middle. So, I guess we can go over there. And then park here, then we can go get some popcorn. And some drinks. Of course I'm gonna come with you. Hmm. Have you ever seen The Exorcist? I heard it's a really, really scary movie. It was made back in 1973. I guess it's because it's so scary, people just get scared easily. I never got to see it myself. Usually I'm mostly into zombie movies. But uh, I'll give this movie a chance. Oh, it's actually banned in a few countries. Hmm. People must be so religious. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some popcorn before the movie starts. Alright, so you want some extra butter on your head, uh, popcorn. Alright. Oh, let's go get some candy too. Yeah, I have a sweet tooth sometime. At least so help me with my smoking problem. Uh, what kind of drinks would you like? Okay, you can get that. Um, Alright, you go grab the popcorn, put some butter in it, and then I'll go pay. Whew, dumb. <laughs> it's getting a lot expensive. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Alright, let's head back to the car. This is getting a little dark, so... Hopefully, if you get scared, you can hold on to me. Us. You do get scared easily. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's gonna be uh, HD then. Alright. That makes sense, even though it's a really old movie. At least we get to see it. Like a 30th or 40th anniversary of this movie. <sighs> hmm? Oh, it's all right. So far, it's kind of good. Touch oh, that poor little oh, girl. <laughs> don't ever mess with the Ouija board. You do know what happens if you don't say goodbye to the Ouija board. You do indeed get possessed. Yeah. Has oh. Russell done it? Uh... uh. Well, technically, he didn't mess with the Ouija board. How he got possessed was a friend of his that died. And he possesses him sometime. He actually featured in one of our songs, like Clint Eastwood. Um, 
really, really interesting guy. But, um, what? oh, now he's holding up now with Russell. If he talks, yeah. I can do the Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. It's about to get a little spooky in here. Yeah. I don't play with that stuff for myself because I actually believe in that shit. Oh no, okay, I forgot what demon this girl is possessed by, but possibly one of the seven demons, princes thingy. <laughs> I don't focus on a, mo a lot on those. I don't know, it's just too much. I think Murdoch would like this stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can see why this movie is banned in so many countries. Yeah, it kind of holds a really religious, you know, message that evil does exist. I know evil exists. Mm. <laughs> Are you holding up all right, love? It is getting a little uh, scary. Oh, that poor girl. Mm. Don't let me mess with the Ouija board. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> love, are you alright? Don't tell me you're scared. Are you? You are, aren't you? Don't tell me you're scared over a movie. You know, it's just a movie. Even though it has happened in true events, but you know, it's just the movie. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You want some popcorn now? Of course. But love, I can't turn it down. If I did, uh, I wouldn't be able to hear. Sorry. Oh my, the way she- Oh! Uh, she 360 her head! Oh dear, okay, that's quite freaky. <laughs> I wonder how they do that, that's actually kind of cool, but... Oh love, oh my goodness. You can handle zombie movies, but I don't think you can handle demons. <laughs> I understand demons can be scary. Well, it looks like this demon really is taking advantage of this poor girl. <laughs> of course you can come near me. Come here. <laughs> oh. You still want more popcorn? Or some kisses? I meant the candy, love. Oh. <laughs> You thought I would be giving you kisses. I mean, I don't mind at all. Would it relax your heart? Yeah. I mean, it is getting quite scary. But you know I'm here. No demon's gonna possess you. No little possessed girl would, you know, come after you. You know why? Because 2 days here. I mean, nobody won't be peeking through the car. How about I relax you? <laughs> of course. You go ahead and enjoy the movie. I'll let you to relax you. Just don't mind me what I'm doing to you. Just relax and enjoy the movie. Well, I enjoy it. Oh, Let me expose that out of the way. <laughs> so, want some more skin to touch? Feeling better? 
Come over here. See that face? Your scared little face. Let me make it better for you. You want to be on my lap? Come on. I see you looking away. <laughs> oh, you naughty girl. <laughs> We're here to watch a movie, but let me do a little makeout section. Spice things up a bit. There's no avenue we can go this far. <laughs> and with all the kissing and cuddling we've done for the past few months, I think we should go even further. Hope it's going on in the movie. Still trying to get that demon out of Reagan. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be over soon. It's like the most climactic scene of all. Oh, you want to see it? <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, I think you should get off my lap, love. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I have to turn your body first. Easy now. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> of course I can see. Oh, it appears that the priest just died. Must be a really powerful demon indeed. I forgot how it goes at the end, but I heard it really has a very powerful message of saving a child. I find that kind of sweet. <laughs> What would you do if you were possessed? Hmm. Well, I let the demon possess me and I save your life. Of course I would do that. Even though I'll be dead, but it just shows that I love you. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's ever gonna happen. You're too beautiful to be possessed. I mean, if I were a demon, I'd be possessing your body. Get to feel you. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, yeah, he actually sacrifices himself for the child. I find that really sweet. It just shows he has a big heart. Oh yeah. I'd do the same thing if I was possessed. <laughs> At least I'll be out of Murdoch's life just for torturing me. <laughs> I know this seems kind of mean. Don't worry, Murdoch's not here. It's just you and me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that wasn't that bad. I mean, there were some very scary moments when the little girl was um, possessed and the demon dog. I've always find that very freaky. But it does carry a very powerful message. Don't ever mess with the fucking Ouija board. <laughs> oh? You played with the Ouija board? Did you at least say goodbye? Oh, good. So I don't want my little love be possessed. Or else I may have to get that demon out of you by going inside you. <laughs> Your face! <laughs> oh, love, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> love, only when you're ready. Of course. I can't just Never mind, only when you're ready. <laughs> That's so fucking adorable. Anyways, I guess the movie's over. We barely touched the popcorn. I guess you were that scared, weren't you, love? <laughs> oh, well, I'm actually glad that you like it. And I 
think we should do this more often. To see what else is up. Alright, looks like we should be heading back to Kong's studio. But it's going to be a while to drive back, so how about we stay at a hotel for tonight? Oh, don't worry. We'll just get two beds if you want. Oh, you don't mind a king? Very well then. Let's get a king room. At least we get to sleep very nicely tonight. And Murdoch not waking us up. While we're at it, can you send the message to Noodle that we're going to be staying at a hotel for one night? Please, if she ever says a sex joke, I'm I'm going to ground her. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, oh, there we are. There's a hotel. Alright, let's head inside, love. <laughs> 